Hello everyone and welcome back to Infinity CAD. In this video, we will design this rear axle shaft which is used for the power transmission to the wheels. Okay, so let's see how we can design this. So now we will start with the front plane and then sketch. Here I will draw one circle like this. Smart dimension and give it diameter of 100 mm. Enter. Now we will extrude this. Reverse direction and give here distance 6 mm. Okay, we will extrude it 6 mm. Okay. Now we will select this front face and then sketch and here we will draw another circle then we will go to smart dimension give it diameter of 50 mm diameter enter ok now again extrude this Extrude it uh, 4 mm. Ok. Now we will select this back side face and then sketch. Here we will draw one circle. Smart dimension and give it diameter of 50 mm. Ok, again extrude this, 50 mm extrude, ok, now select this face, sketch, here draw another circle, smart dimension, Give it 35 mm diameter. Ok. Again extrude this. This time we will extrude it 30 mm. Ok. You can see here. Ok. Now this face we will select. Sketch. Again circle. Smart dimension, make it 24 mm diameter, ok, extrude this, this time we will extrude it 250 mm, enter, then just select ok, ok, so our staff you can see, look, uh, will look like this. Now we have to create holes on this face. So instead of creating on this face, we will just edit the sketch of this boss extrude. So select this sketch, edit this, and here we will draw one circle like this. Smart dimension. Give it diameter 80 mm, enter and we will make this circle by selecting it for construction. Ok, so you can see this circle is in construction now. Now we have to create another circles. On this point we will create one circle. Smart dimension and give it diameter of. 6 mm or let me give it 8 mm ok so 8 mm is sufficient now we will uh, circular pattern this for that select here circular pattern click on it 
and here we have to give a center point so i'll give this as a center point in the parameters i'll give this as a center point and then in the entities to pattern i'll select this circle and you can see here you here are four circles as we have given here four but we have to give here five okay so we have given five number of entities and uh, 360 degree equal spacing we have keep here okay this now let's make it fully defined for that i'll just select fully defined sketch and then calculate okay you can see it is now fully defined okay now now just exit the sketch and you can see these holes are here okay so just like this you can create holes now now we have to create here slots for that i'll select this space and then sketch just i'll select convert entities and you can see the edges of this shaft will be converted into a circle okay so now i'll just offset this circle at a 1 mm distance select this circle and you can see it is offsetted in this direction so we want this just select ok ok now we'll extrude this reverse direction and make it 30 mm yeah ok 30 mm is sufficient now keep now click ok okay here we have to give a chamfer we just select chamfer from here and we'll select angle and distance you can see from this angle distance we have selected and here we will distance give it 1 mm and 45 degree okay so now we will select this edge and this edge okay okay so we have applied chamfers now we will just select this face and then sketch here we have to select convert entities and this time we will select this edge of the chamfer that we have created select this edge ok and you can see this edge is now converted and here we will draw one sketch so we have to make it normal now i will just select here one circle on this center point on this point you can see smart dimension and give it diameter of 0 0.5 mm or uh, we can make it 1 mm okay so 1 mm is sufficient okay now we will extrude cut this for that just select extruded cut from here and uh, i'll select this circle so yeah first we have to make this edge of this circle as a construction geometry i'll select this edge and make it construction geometry okay so you can see it is now construction now again extrude cut this and we have even 30 mm so that it will throw all cut like this okay so you can see it will looks like this now we have to circular pattern this so that it will be on this face this face you can see so for that we have to select here show axis 
like this view temporary access we have to click on it and you can see this axis is shown here now let's select circular pattern in the direction we will select this axis and in the features just select this cut extrude and you can see it will looks like this but we have to give here number of entities here you can see 26 are given but we'll give it somewhat 30 or uh, 32 yes 30 so yes 32 is sufficient okay so now that's it you can see now just uh, hide all of this access now we will fillet this edge select fillet select this edge and uh, give your fillet of 8 mm or let me make it 6 mm so 6 mm is sufficient okay so now our rear axle shaft is ready you can see it now let me give it some appearance edit appearance and from the appearances i will select metal steel and in the polish steel double click on it and you can see polish steel material will be applied to this okay so that's all in this video i hope you like this tutorial please make sure to like share and subscribe us thanks for watching